Anna from Pro Fashion, and today I'm gonna to be giving you all of my tips and tricks on how to keep your hair color safe and how to not strip it of that color. Because let's be honest, you spend a lot of money on coloring your hair and you want it to stay looking fresh. You want it to stay glowing and looking good. So I'm gonna give you all of my tips and tricks on how to maintain your hair color, how to care for it. So let's get right on into it. Now, first up, let's talk about your pre-hair dyeing process. So number one, make sure your hair is healthy. This is something that I cannot stress enough. Having healthy hair is going to help you hold that color longer. So if you have dead ends on your hair or maybe your hair is damaged from a bad coloring experience, try to get your hair back to a level of healthiness prior to getting it colored again. Keeping your hair hydrated, that's something that I struggle with is making sure I have enough moisture in my hair all the way from my tips of my hair up into the scalp this is going to help prevent all of that frizziness and that dryness that you're experiencing so, so that you don't have as many breaking ends and on top of that you can go in for oil treatments this is going to restore a lot of that damage and further the moisture that you need in your hair another thing i love doing is using hair masks these are such a game changer so i apply hair mask all the way from the top root of my hair all the way to the bottom and i'll start applying these several months before going in and getting a hair color just to make sure my hair is as healthy as it can be it has that smoothness and it is not dried out or frizzy at all to stop from any extra breakage that might occur during coloring now if you're someone that loves the pool you may want to refrain from going in the chlorine before going and getting your hair done because this is going to further damage your hair. Chlorine is not the best for your hair, so try to refrain from that as much as you can. And next up is clarifying your hair and removing any impurities. The hair products that you're using can sometimes leave traces behind, which cause buildup. And on top of that, even from things like dust and oil buildup, chemical deposits and even chlorine, those are all things that build up in your hair that we want to try to get rid of before getting our hair color to make sure our hair is at its healthiest place that it can be. That is why I highly recommend several weeks before, don't overdo it, but use a clarifying shampoo to clarify your scalp and your hair of any of those buildups, whether that be dirt, chemical products, chlorine, or even the hair products that you're using that are building up over time. Try to use a clarifying shampoo off and on just to clarify your hair and your scalp of those unwanted traces. And third, treat your damaged hair before going in and having it colored. I know this sometimes can be a challenge because we want that specific color on our hair, but I can tell you treating healthy hair is going to turn out much better than treating any sort of damaged hair. Now to help prior to your appointment, you may want to do some protein treatments to your hair. This is going to help restore it and rebuild it up before having your hair done. So protein treatments are going to be perfect for you. Now let's say you have gotten your hair colored. Let's talk about those next steps. Let's talk about that post hair dye experience and what you can do. Let's talk about that post hair dye maintenance and what you can do to prevent it from fading away. First up, shampoo less often. And this may be one you've heard of before or be like, what in the world? So shampooing every time that you get in the shower is actually going to strip the color. Every time you put your hair under that water and apply shampoo, you are stripping it of some sort of color. And this is where you can maintain that color of your hair if you are using a shampoo that is for color treated hair. Look on those labels, make sure that it is for color treated hair because that will stop it from stripping that color so quickly. Next, use lukewarm or cool water to wash your hair. Say goodbye to that hot water because cool water is much easier on your hair, whereas that warm water has more energy, so it has that potential to strip the color, whereas cool and lukewarm has a harder time doing so. Now, third, just like how I mentioned, using color-treated shampoos are going to be so important after having your hair dyed, so are those color treated conditioners as well. So you want to seal it off in the best way that you can. So I highly recommend finding a good color treated conditioner. This is going to give you that shine while also making sure that you're not stripping your hair of that color that you just had done on your hair. Now, number four, refrain from any heat styling that you can. I know this one can be so hard. We all know that heat can cause damage on our hair, which is going to not allow us to hold on to that color as much as we would like. But if you are going to heat style your hair, make sure that you're using a protective layer. So apply a heat spray beforehand just to give it that layer of protection before going in and doing so. Now, maybe you're somebody that only heat styles your hair once a week right now. Maybe try to do that every other week, or maybe you're 
someone like me and you heat style your hair every day, try to even push that back to every other day. This will help over time. And next up, covering your hair in direct sunlight. So as we know, sunlight can fade away our hair that we just had done. We just had it dyed. We paid all that money to have it done. So maybe throw on a hat or throw on something to protect your hair or try to not go out as much just as like with your skin. Try to avoid the direct sunlight unless you have to. Tip number six, you could use a re-dyeing conditioner. This is something that I do with having blonde hair. I have a purple conditioner that I will apply every other week and I will apply it all the way from my root all the way to the ends of my hair just to keep that color, to strip my hair of any brassiness and make it still look that beautiful bright blonde. Number seven, making sure that you're providing the nourishment that your hair needs, whether that's through a healthy diet, staying hydrated, giving your hair oil treatments, do what you can to have the best hair before having it dyed and even after. Number eight, using supplements. Some vitamins like vitamins B and C are actually going to help strengthen your hair, whether that's directly applying those to the scalp and allowing those blood vessels to really strengthen the hair, allow it to grow, or whether you're taking that in a pill form as well. Vitamin B and C are perfect for you ladies that are getting your hair dyed. Number nine, do not stop trimming. I know this is such a tough point for a lot of us ladies because we think that our hair, if we just keep trimming it, it's going to take forever for it to grow. But I can say that the ends of your hair that have breakage, that maybe you haven't gotten trimmed in a long time, those are not going to hold color as long as your healthy hair. You can even see on my own hair towards the ends, I have some breakage that I need to have taken care of. Whereas the color is holding perfectly here and it kind of stops at the end. We do not want that. So ladies, getting a trim is going to be key. I promise it's going to give you healthier hair over time and it's going to hold color much better. And number 10, get rid of any sulfate products that you may be using, like a sulfate shampoo. These are actually cleaning agents. They are going to strip your hair of any deposits, any chemicals or any impurities. And the last thing we want is to strip any moisture from our hair because we want that hair dye to last. So number 10, remove those sulfate products from your regimen. Now those are my tips and tricks for you on how to maintain your hair both before and after. Make sure to let us know if you have any questions at all and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.